I like your skin, my friend. <laughs> so, you're playing on Minecraft, you know, type, 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 and you come across someone who has a really cool skin, and you think, hey, I'd like that, but you don't want to just use somebody else's pre existing program. You want to make your own. Well, you found the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So, to start things off, we are going to use Python. Python is a really awesome little programming language. It can do incredibly powerful things, yet it is super beautiful and simple to read and write. Now, if you don't know how to install Python, I'll link up a video showing you how to do it here. And this project is a little bit advanced, but if you follow the step by step, you should be good. So you might want to learn the basics of Python before you come to this video, but nevertheless, keep watching. And if you can follow step by step, you'll be able to make it through for a working program. Okay, guys. So we're using something called the Mojang API. This is, I'm pretty sure, certain it's official. You can. If somebody knows, they can tell me in the comments and correct me, but I'm like 95% sure this is official. So the Mojang API, right now it's free and you don't have to create an account or anything. If that changes in the future, I'm not sure. Mojang's still developing it. But how it works is you can type in get requests from like a web browser, like you'd send and type into a URL of a website. So like, you know, you type this into a website and then you put the username you want here, and then you come back with some information about that person. But in Python, you can tell the computer to do this automatically for you, and you can get the information you need to get a skin from the person and save that to a file. So, nevertheless, let's get started. Open up your idle, and once it loads, we can start. From the Python shell, you'll go to File, and you'll click New File. Now, I'm doing this on a Mac, but this code works for Mac and Windows, because Python is really awesome like that, to where you can do your same code for both the operating systems. So, the first thing we're going to do is import some modules. So I'm going to say Import, and then Re- Requests. And what that'll do is it'll import a request module. The request module is the module that lets you interact with things kind of like a web browser would or like a web server would or a web client would. So it lets you interact with websites and web servers and services like that. So it'll let us use the Mojang API that I was just talking about. So after that, you're going to create a new variable from the user input. You're going to type in user name space equals space in put open parentheses inside the parentheses put quotation marks then this is what it's going to show and prompt the user with on the terminal line so I'm going to say minecraft user name colon and that will show you what the person's name is if we save this real quick, I'm going to call it MC Skin Stealer. If we just run this first part so I can show you what it does, F5 is usually run, but you know, we have an error. There's no request module. So, we're going to have to go and install that. Okay, guys. So, here is how you install requests. Requests should be defaultly installed on Windows. If not, just follow along in these steps. First, you need to locate your terminal if you're on Mac or Linux, or command prompt if you're on Windows. Then, after you open that up, you're going to type pip 
install requests. Now, before it enter on this, I just wanted to say, for some reason on my installation of Python on my Mac, I was having some trouble running this command. If you guys experience any trouble running this command, just let me know in the comment section and then I'll help you learn how to fix it. Okay, so after you've typed this in, hit enter, and it's going to install it, and then you're going to be good. Okay, after that, you can just exit this out, come back to your Python window, and run it. And now it works, and it'll ask you for your Minecraft username. So I would just say, you know, testing this would be username, which, believe it or not, there's actually someone who has a Minecraft account called username. Crazy, huh? So now that works. The next thing we need to do is actually use the requests. We're going to make another new variable called r and we're going to set it equal to requests. Oops. STS. Dot get open parentheses quotation marks. Then what this will do is it's going to tell request to get this URL. And just like on the Minecraft API, I mean the Mojang API, it's going to go to this URL like it was saying, and it's going to get what we're asking it to get. Okay, so this is the URL. It's going to be https colon slash slash api dot mojang dot com slash user slash profile slash Minecraft. Now, don't worry about typing this all in. I'll have it in the description so you can copy and paste it. After you type that in, you're going to go over here and do comma space. Then you're going to hit plus. Then you're going to say our new our variable we just made, username. And then after that, you're going to do comma space. Okay, I'm sorry. There's not supposed to be a comma here. I don't know what I was thinking. But you're gonna do comma space after username, and then you're gonna hit verify equals true. And Python needs to spell with the capital T. And what verify equals true will do is it makes it get a certified request when you're sending it through the request module. After that, I want it to go ahead and just so we test it, I'm gonna say print r dot text and that will print the text that we get from this thing so when we run when we save this with command s or control s if you're on windows then you run it with f5 this is what it does it'll say that so you're going to type in username and you're going to hit enter or load a second then this is what it gets what this file is that it got from the mojang api what it looks like when it spits out what it got is ID, it tells you the ID of the user, then the username. So what we want to get out of this is the user ID. So I believe they also called it the something, they called it like the UUDI or something like that, or UUID on the Mojang API, something like that. It was kind of weird, but they just called ID here. So I think I'm going to call it for this video because we've already done a lot. I plan to make this into a three or four part series. So stay tuned. And if you don't want to miss a thing, subscribe so it'll notify you and you'll get all the information checked out when the next video comes out. Thank you for watching and please leave a like if you like this and stay tuned for the next episode of this tutorial series. Peace.